What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Cuba and today, I, before I start the video, let me introduce you what I've been working on for my 10,000 subscriber special. Yes, I'm only 7,000, but it, at the way my channel is going, I think we're gonna reach that number in about 4 months. So I have to, you know, start thinking about what I'm gonna do for you guys, because you guys are awesome and you guys deserve something funny. So, I've, I've thought about doing a challenge related to God of War, right? And I've only done one other channel, I mean, one other challenge in my channel, and it involved me eating uh, bean boozles. But this channel involves a... Uh... Let me explain. I will play the hardest difficulty setting of God of War 4. Every time I die, I will turn on my buzzer and... Just, you know cut a line, cut something of my hair, you know, until I look like Kratos, okay? That's gonna be the challenge, and it's gonna be super fun. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in a live stream, or I'm gonna do it on a fully edited video. I'm still working on it, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> it sounds like a fun thing to do. My girlfriend totally hates it, <laughs> but who cares, okay? I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, let's get on with the video. And now look what you have wrought. Look at this. Look at it. They're dying because of you. Everything is dying because of you. The sun is gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Disease infects what remains. All right, so this is a video that I've been dying to do for such a long time, okay? Back in February and during Valentine's Day, my girlfriend gave me this amazing out of War mug in which the, in which it's Kratos depicted as you know, screaming at the skies while a pile of dead bodies lays beneath him, right? And this is clearly an, uh, an image of, of God of War 3, when he killed all the Greek gods, right? So that, there's no mystery there. But if you turn the mug, you will see a bunch of Greek guys re rebuilding Olympus. We see a guy hammering a Corinthian pillar, some horses being whipped as they pull that those uh, columns in place. We see people under the temple rebuilding Olympus. We, we it's, it's in the mountains. That's the message, that's the message the the image is trying to convey. They're rebuilding Olympus, right? So and I th at first I thought it wasn't canon. I'm like, maybe it was just artistic representation of what the guy who did the mug thought it was, but it's not really canon, right? So I looked at the concept art for the, the vase you see in God of War 4, and it's right there. The image is there, right? So this is clearly canon, and it's 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 Corey hinting at, at us that something is going on back in Greece, right? So, being a God of War fan that I am, my mind is going all over the place. What could this possibly mean, okay? And first you may think that it's not possible because Kratos destroyed all of Olympus, right? But if you listen to what Athena says to Kratos. You fool! What have you done? Alright, she says they will not know what to do with it, right? So back in God of War 3, this didn't really make much much sense, but now that we see the image, it seems like the, the remaining sick Olympians have a new hope, and they're rebuilding Olympus, right? But it's it's still really vague, we, we really don't know anything about it, because it's obviously just an image, <laughs> we can't really make much out of it. All we can say is that, yeah, they have a new hope, and they're rebuilding Olympus. And it's kind of cool, because... It confirms that it'll, that Greece is not we're not done with Greece and we'll eventually travel back to it. I don't know if it'll be with Kratos or Atreus, but the world is still there. Okay, it's it's coming back live and we'll eventually go back, right? So what could what could this possibly mean? Okay, I see two possibilities of in which they can take this. Okay, as you know, there are still a few remaining gods left, and I have the list right here: Morpheus, God of the Dreams, Artemis. Boreas and Aphrodite. Those are, the, I think, these are the only ones that were mentioned in God of War Three. There's obviously uh, the wine guy. I forgot what his name was. Dion Dionysius, right? The wine guy, but he has never been mentioned in God of War Three. But these four guys are the main one, and maybe Apollo. But honestly, Apollo. I, I think Apollo is dead because there's a bunch of statues of him, and the guy in, in Hades has his his bow and arrow. I feel like he's dead, and they haven't. That's another video. But anyways, these four guys, Morpheus, Artemis, Boreas, and Aphrodite. These are the four Greek gods remaining, right? And honestly, they're not that 
yes, they're gods, they're strong, but they're not really known as being leaders or anything like that, right? So I don't think, I don't think like Morpheus is gonna take over again and be the king of Olympus again, and or Artemis. I honestly like the I, I've said this countless of times. I like the idea of Artemis. <laughs> Tracking down Kratos to the Norse lands, right? And he and she's like, "Oh, you destroyed Olympus! I'm gonna kill you!" And Atreus is like, "Oh no, father, what did you do?" <laughs> and all that. That's kind of my idea for Artemis and the Greek gods. I feel like they should be hunting out Kratos. It would make for much more interesting uh, uh, cutscenes and, and story moments. But anyways, what's the other possibility then? <laughs> this is gonna be crazy, okay? Because <laughs> this is. This is what God of War is. The name God is in the title. And I feel like from the mug, Greece is going to be the first uh, atheistic <laughs> region in the world. And that would make for for a very interesting story <laughs> where the, the Greeks no longer believe in, in gods, right? As, uh, as David Jaffe has said in a few interviews. But ultimately, he ends up getting all the gods to fight amongst themselves. Um, thus ignoring man on earth and the way Kratos realizes that you kill gods f with finality is that you get people to stop believing in them. Even though this was this was the original ending he had envisioned for the series, it's still something that Cory Barlog could visit, right? And uh, it would be it would be really interesting seeing the first region in this universe to be atheistic, right? And just driven by human just, you know, human will, you know, to build and to, you know, create new things, you know, not under gods, right? And as you know, the Greeks were the first, uh, the most, in my opinion, the most civilized people in the ancient world. They gave us logic, philosophy, right? And uh, they gave us the freaking Antikythera mechanism, which was the first, I don't know, computer or something. We can actually see it in God of War Ascension, because Ar Archimedes um, takes, uh, Archimedes is in God of War Ascension, right? He's the one who built the statue of Apollo. Right, so we can still see like the God of War universe merging with reality. We see actual people. Right, Plato is mentioned at the beginning of God of War three. Although I don't think that's canon. That's more for the player. But it's still kind of cool that he's mentioned. To me, having Greece grounded more on atheistic values, it makes a lot of sense because the last set of gods that ruled over the Greeks were not very kind to them. Right, they would not want another set of gods ruling over them. Being the ones I mentioned before, Morpheus, Artemis, Boreas, or Aphrodite, they would not want anything to do with them. They would have they would want to do something by themselves, right? Just look at the the guy in God of War Ascension who goes to make sacrifices. He's so miserable. Look at this guy. The offerings will please the Oracle this time. I know it. No, no, my gifts. She must have them all. It will have to be enough. Know me i'm a big fan of boss battles so while i was making this video i had an idea for an awesome boss fight hear me out okay so have you guys heard of talos uh, let me read the, uh, a small description talos was a giant automaton made from bronze to protect europa in crete from pirates and invaders he circled the island the island's shores three times daily okay so he was essentially a robot that protected uh greece from invaders right this is so freaking cool, a robot, okay? We have never fought a robot in, in the God of War universe, right? <laughs> so this could be the first robot. <laughs> and it, it, the reason I'm mentioning him is because it makes sense. You know, given that the the, the Greeks are more atheist now, they're more scientifically, scientifically focused, they will eventually come to build great things without using magic or... Uh, you know, monsters or anything like that. It's it's gonna be like pure human uh, creativity, right? So robots will ev eventually become a thing, right? Think about it. The, the previous gods already had something like Talos, right? They, they had the the Colossus of, of Rhodes, originally a statue, but Zeus put magic into it and it became alive, right? So of course the new Greeks will not do some stuff like that. They will not use magic. They will use human uh, creativity to create a robot, an actual robot that protects. Greece from invaders, right? So it's actually kind of cool, and it, it would be cool to see Talos being a god killer, like he's he's built 
to take down gods. And I don't know, to me it's just cool if Kratos or Atreus come back and, you know, they, they decided to go back to Greece and suddenly they have to face this giant robot, you know, protecting the shores. It's just a cool idea. I'm just amazed at the amount of detail Cory Barlock has introduced in this new game. Like, we're still finding new things months after the game came out and it's just amazing. I honestly don't know what the image means. I have my theory and I think it makes sense. They wouldn't want gods ruling over them, there would be more atheistic focus, and eventually they would they would come to build robots, right? <laughs> it's sound in my mind, right? But what do you guys think? What do you guys think the image is? It's obviously canon because it's in the concept art for the vase, right? So we have to talk about it. What do you guys think the image means, right? Do you think that we'll have Morpheus as the king of Olympus now? Do you think it, the Greeks are going to be more atheistic focused? Leave your comments below. Honestly, thank you so much for the support you guys give me. You you guys give me, you give, give my videos a like, you share my videos, you, you subscribe. You guys are amazing. Keep on doing that, please. <laughs> if you want to see my head shaved, you have to do that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. And that's it for today. Goodbye.